Member Putnam? Here. Council Member Steiger? Here. Council Member Walker? Here. So, are there any additions or changes to tonight's agenda? Council Member Steiger? Excuse, John. Thank you. All those in favor, signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed? <laughs> <laughs> Alright. I would like to uh, call the interview. Remove the explorer agreement? Yes. Which to be removed. Anything else? Seeing nothing. All those in favor of the agenda as amended signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Okay. Motion carried. So the next item on our agenda is a presentation. We have our former post office mistress, post mistress, is that the proper terminology? Um, here with us tonight that um, has a letter that she would like to present. You could come on up here, um, Glenda, to the podium. A letter, the last letter to leave the city post office. She's here to present it to us this evening. I'm so happy to see you, Glenda. Thank you so much. I miss you so much. Just in case nobody knows who I am, I wore my official shoes. <laughs> I used to have my house shoes on all the time, and people would proud me about being at work and being comfortable. Um, I have a letter that I wrote the last day of the post office being open, and I would like to read it at the beginning. I knew it's going to do this. <coughs> To my friends and neighbors in Pacific, I first saw Pacific while visiting my daughter Beatrice when she lived in a house on Wayne Avenue just by in the post office. I loved Pacific from the beginning. When B told me that the post office and property were for sale, I approached on bold with an offer. I brought, bought the property at 111 3rd Avenue Southeast in Pacific with the post office already operating taking over the contract on October the 2nd, 1992. You see, I was born in a very small town in Arkansas, and Pacific was small, friendly, and moved at a slower pace, which was just what I needed at that time in my life. I remodeled the rest tent area for a gift shop and opened it on July the 28th of 1993. I continued to operate them both until I retired in 2011. From the first day I opened the service window, I found the friendship, kindness, and later the respect that I cherish. When my health began to decline, I realized that I needed to make a change. Cha closing the post office wasn't what I had in mind, but I've always heard that life is what happens to you while you're making plans. I wanted to stay right here the rest of my life, running the post office. However, when I turned 75, Beatrice helped me make the decision to retire. I did not want Pacific without a, uh, without a post office. I knew it's important for one to have one here, so I talked to guys market <coughs> to see if they'd be interested. The parking and how little the post office paid was an issue. The problem with most contract stations is the service the supervising post office gives their suppliers. That would be me. <coughs> <coughs> if they don't serve me, I can't serve you. That service has been missing since day one. Making enough money is the second issue. They don't compensate fairly for the amount of time open or the work required. At, their first, at first, their service didn't seem to be so bad that I couldn't deal with it. As time went by, supervisors and rules changed. It became impossible. They lost my paperwork time after time. The stamps were seldom, 
seldom delivered on time. The mail for you, my customers and friends, was not delivered timely. When I retired, my grandson Justin took over the post office, but he had to deal with all the things I had to just let go or was used to as normal. Finally, we gave the post office our notice to close for May 8, 2015, and listed the reasons why. They still haven't complied with any of those issues, and we couldn't continue to try to recover money to do it. This letter is not meant to be a tirade against the post office or to give you my life history, but to explain why I have closed. When I finish remodeling the gift shop and my property returns to being my home, I would be able to step out of my front door, wave, and say good morning to everyone. And you can't do that in a big city. With my long list of friends here, I hope you will always consider me your friend as all. Well. This is a great little city, and I wish everyone the best of luck. This is the last postmark letter to leave the Pacific Post Office, and I hope you will have good memories when you see it. Thank you for being my friend, for your understanding of why I left, and especially for allowing me to serve you. Thank you. going on in Pacific, all you had to do was go to the post office. Oh, <laughs> 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 I wouldn't say it was gossip, she was just the go-to place okay. and had a friendly smile for everybody and was willing to help everybody. Um, I worked with you on partnerships side by side, okay. we spent a lot of hours together, worked with you as a council member and I truly have appreciated and I know I speak for council as a whole, how much we appreciate you and all that you dedicated yourself to this city with all your years and being our postmistress, we have this pot for you. <laughs> and it says, presented with grateful appreciation to Glenda White for your years of service as postmistress to the citizens of the City of Pacific, May 2015. Would you like a picture of